Thank you, ladies. Uh, I want you to know that Mariana Zayets, the national president of Soyuz Ukrainok, she just got back from Ukraine to her home in New York about four days ago. Uh, she was in Ukraine for a national conference of women, and then when she got back to New York, they started evacuating parts of the city because of the hurricane coming. Nonetheless, she got in her car and drove 10 hours here to Cleveland just so she could be with us today. So I'd like to call her up for her thoughts. much for your generous introduction. I cannot take all the credit for being here today because my husband chauffeured me. So I have to thank him. Uh, if you, uh, when I am dead, upon the world will blow the fire that I left in songs behind me. Through kin though kindled in the night, a flame kept low, it will burn brightly in the daytime. This is the verse from Lesio Klinka's poem entitled Pre-Dawn Lights and can be found at the foot of the monument dedicated to her in Kyiv, Ukraine. Lesha Ukrayenko was born 140 years ago this year in a little college, a cottage at Novohrad Wilinsky, now in the Zhytomyr region of Ukraine. Writing was to be the main focus of her life. Her first collection of poetry, Nakrilak Pisen, on the Wings of Songs, was published in 1893 when she was a mere 22 years of age. Ukrayenka also wrote epic poems, prose, dramas, prose, articles of literary criticism, and a number of socio-political essays. Her profound sense of love for her country and her fellow man, her firm beliefs in the rights of all citizens, her heroic spirit throughout her long illness, combined with a broad world outlook and depth of thought, raised her works to extraordinary heights. Everything she possessed, her immense talent and her genuine heart throughout her short life were sacrificed on the altar of her poor and beloved Ukraine. This is the woman to whom this beautiful restored monument created by sculptor Mikhail Cherestinovsky 50 years ago is dedicated. This is the woman in whose memory members of the Ukrainian National League, Women's League of America Branch 30 lovingly initiated this project raised the necessary funds, engaged the sculpture, and watched as the fruits of their labor evolved into this thoughtful interpretation of the renowned Lesha Ukrayinka. This is the woman for whom Branch 8 of the UNWLA has made it their mission to restore the, brilliant, the brilliance and the life to this monument. I am honored to be president to be present at today's rededication because this is a date in the history of not only the members of UNWLA and the region of Ohio, but for the entire diaspora of the US. The Cultural Gardens of Cleveland is very unique as it unites the statues and monuments of outstanding figures of different nationalities, citizens living in the United States. To understand and appreciate the meaning and power of today's events, I recall the history of the monument of Lesha at the Ukrainian Cultural Gardens in Cleveland when I spoke in Ukrainian and therefore will not repeat it. However, I will say that in order to understand the dedication and hard work of the members of Branch 30 of the Ukrainian National Women's League of America, all of whom made up the monument committee, within the six years of its construction, 40 working meetings were held. And the grand moment of the unveiling of the monument of Lesha Ukrayinka took place on September 24 in 1961. 50 years ago. The names of these women have entered into the history of the Ukrainian women's movement in the U.S. At the foot of the monument, the plaque states that the monument was directed through the efforts of the Ukrainian National Women's League of America. The women who dedicated themselves to this labor of love 50 years ago chose to focus on the organization which embraced and united them rather than on themselves. On behalf of every member of the UNWLA, I thank them for understanding that their accomplishments are the pride of our entire organization. It's been 50 years, and over time, the monument has lost its luster and needed restoration. And once again, the dedicated members of the Regional Council of Ohio stepped up to the plate. This time it was Branch 8, the president of which is Doja Krislata. 
Since 2007, branch aid members carefully tended to the grounds surrounding the monument, but it was clear that the sculpture needed restoration. As you can see, their noble work was crowned by success. Once again, I mentioned the names of these wonderful ladies as I spoke in Ukrainian, and I will not repeat them here. They know who they are, and I bow my head to each one of them for their love to their Ukrainian heritage and their culture. Your efforts are a true gift to the entire Ukrainian-American community on the 140th anniversary of the birth of Lesha Ukrainka. In a letter to the original monument committee regarding the appearance of the planned monument and how he wanted to immortalize this poetess in bronze, the sculptor Mikhailo Cherishnyovsky wrote, This is a woman under 30 years of age, with deep peace on her facial expression, but with a slight and troubled furrow on her forehead. She's not looking right at anyone, but somewhere into the distance. Today, Lesha's furrowed forehead could be interpreted as concern for the uncertain political situation in her beloved Ukraine. But also, as Lesha is looking into the distance with serenity on her face, it may be because she never could have dreamed that 140 years later, in a faraway and distant country, such dedication and love to her could be expressed by a group of Ukrainian-American women, members of the Ukrainian National Women's League of America. Dear members of the Restoration Committee and all members of the Regional Council of Ohio, on behalf of the Executive Committee of the National Board of the UNWLA and myself personally, allow me to express our sincere and deep respect and gratitude and to wish you further success in your work for the good of our organization, which has united for 86 years united women of Ukrainian descent in the United States. Last week, while in Ukraine for the World Congress of Ukrainians conference in KU, we proudly reported on your achievements. The work of our predecessors continues through you. There is a continuity of generations. Our predecessors have passed on the baton to us, and it is our duty, our honor, our privilege, our pleasure to do so. To accomplish this, let us find new inroads and go forward with confidence and let us ask God for his help in this mission. Thank you.